In the course of thinking through the film, I decided that the theme of the film had to be memory. That is, the events had passed. What was the reality of those events? What was the meaning of memory? How do you hold memory as real? And from that idea came the idea of the museum as a, literally, a form of memory, an objective form of memory. And since some of the footage that was available to me was the museum at Asventum, which remembered the events, I uh, developed this idea of museum, memory, and so on. That sprung into being the whole idea of museums in general, museums and art as remembering the life of man. That is, you go through a museum and you have a constant uh, digging out of what is in the experience of human beings. So that's how the structure of the film came into being on the basis of that content, with the, the experience of Nazism as being part of the museum of memory. And so the film begins with a sequence that deals with art in the museum, as art as a form of memory, and the different forms of memory. Now one of the interesting things about the film is I had to use whatever material I had. I was able to shoot the art material myself, which was very inexpensive, and Peggy and I did that together. Uh, but I had to have a form in which I could use anything that was available to me, whether it was enacted material, documentary material, newsreel, art material, or whatever. And since the film was a uh, about memory and about the museum of memory. Memory is affected by all kinds of things. It's affected by what you have in the brain, it's affected by dreams, it's affected by talk, it's affected by poetry, it's affected by painting, it's affected by a, uh, a vase that is broken, a shard, all these are forms of memory. Therefore, anything can be a form of memory, so long as it has truth in it. So I, I decided then that that enlarged the capacity for me to use material. And since the, all the Polish films were available to me and they had made some very good films, like The Last Stop, uh, about um, the experience with the Nazis, I then used material from that, handling it as if it were one layer of documentation. That is, this is documentation by a film about. And then the editing is such that I broke totally away from the structures of how the original material was used.